Hi again, it's Heather with Murray's Home for Wayward Chickens, and I apologize I had to cut that last video short, but I wanted to I wanted to immediately take care of this little girl. Um, this is one of our special needs. She is a bantam silver lace brahma. I have a, a warm I have a hot washcloth that I let cool off a little bit. I'm gonna do a warm compress on her eye to loosen up the crust before I try to clean it off. And she is she was uh, fluttering around a bit. Now she's calm because that compress probably feels good. Taylor is very upset. Okay, Taylor. Taylor is so jealous because there's another chicken in the house. And she's like, what the shit? Uh -huh. Taylor doesn't share. So this is what her eye looks like. I'm going to show you. I went out to give him a snack. And as soon as I saw her, she has crust. This one looks great. So I'm gonna just do the compress until it looks comfortable. I'm gonna gently clean it off. And then I'm going to use triple antibiotic ointment without pain relief. Sounds mean, but it's not. You can use triple antibiotic plain ointment in their eyes without pain relief. If it has the pain relief, it's not pain relieving for the eyes, it's gonna burn. So don't use pain relief. Triple anti, this is Walmart, Equate brand. I buy the box, it's a double box, two tubes in a box for like four bucks. We go, it's always on the coffee table. We use it for everything. So I sent a picture of her to TJ and he's asked if, if it's crusty and I'm gonna treat it with triple antibiotic or if we should just call the vet. I'm going to give her one day. I'm gonna put the antibiotic ointment in now. We'll do it again tonight. And then I'll assess her tomorrow morning. If there's any improvement, we'll stick with the antibiotic um, ointment. But if uh, if there's no improvement tomorrow, if it looks worse, we're gonna I'm gonna call the vet. I'll probably just have the vet come here because it's been a while since she's been here. She hasn't had to be here for a long time. And so uh, she's super nice. Dr. Jen is great. If I have her come here, she actually just gives the whole flock a quick once over. And it's not like she, they charge individually for every chicken. If you have a couple of them that have issues, then you know, she'll come and look at, you know, you don't always have to bring them to the vet. Farm vets come to the house, which is great. You know, because you can't bring a cow or a horse to a vet. So farm vets are good. They can come to the house and we can have her look at everybody. And I use a big lump because I want to be so gentle with it. That way, if I just touch it and a piece of it comes off, it's already there. I don't want to rub her eye and irritate it further. So I just want to put sort of a, a decent blob. Oh, there you go. You're a good girl. Okay, so she's got like a blob. She's lubed up. I did make sure it got everywhere. There is like a big piece hanging off. That's okay. The warmth of her body should probably melt it and she'll get more of the medicine. And it'll, get, it'll really get there in her eye. I don't think that this is from an injury. This looks like an infection because of the crusty stuff coming out. It could be from an injury, but then I think we would have seen it more recently. Um, this looked like it came on quick within the last day or so. If it was an injury, we'd probably see it uh, puff up or swell or have her eye closed without any indication of anything else. And then if it got infected, um, it would get like this because it, she seemed to have woken up with this this morning. So if that's the case, it's, it's more of an eye infection. She could have gotten something in it, but we're going to keep an eye on this. If you guys have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. This sweet girl. Say, so I'm gonna be okay. Have a great day, guys.